Well, friends, here is one more problem, problem number sixty-nine. This problem is also same, based on the same direction. We have to complete the uh, this missing part of the given figure and just uh, compare that with the given options and take the correct option. So the thing is, complete the given figure or part of figure on the question paper itself with the help of pencil. Okay, I will complete this here. First, I will complete the outline. Next, a circle is there. You have to complete that circle. Okay. Now I completed the circle. Next, there is a square box inside. You have to complete that one. So here you have to draw a line to this point. Now the square box is completed. Next, there is a curve. And you have to complete that curve like this. Okay, next. There are some small curves like this. Okay, you have to complete that one as well. Next thing is, next thing is, yes, is there anything that is left out? Yes, one line has to be drawn like this from this point, from this point of here. Next, you have to draw this type of shape here. Okay, from this point to this. Now see, is it completed? Yes, it is completed. Now cross verify the given options, whichever it matches, that will be the right option. As I said in the previous problem, these type of problems very simple. Just you have to complete the given figure and then compare that with the given options. That will be the uh, the procedure to solve such type of problems. So don't lose marks in such type of problems by incomplete or by missing some part of the figure and just comparing the, the given options and we may select the wrong option okay first complete the figure and then cross verify whether you completed or not then go for verification of the given options okay now compare the option with the first uh, the drawn figure with the first option if you see that first option is missing with this curve this curve is not present in the first option. This curve is not present. That that's why first option is wrong. Moving to second, second option. If you see, yes, this part is of this shape is not present in the second option. That's why option two also a wrong option. Moving to third option, third option contains all the uh, part, all the complete part which is missing. Therefore, this third option is the right option. This is how we solve this example. As I said, don't leave such problems in our examination. Well, friends, now I will move to next problem.